The United Nations aims to achieve universal electricity access by the year 2030. And it's start-up companies providing affordable solar power solutions leading the charge in many African nations. <laughs> but given the nascent nature of the sector, reliable market information to pinpoint market growth opportunities has been hard to come by. Former Silicon Valley engineer Johan Berno hopes to change that. Setting up his operation at Nairobi's Entrepreneur Incubation Centre, iHub. Models are bringing more maturity to this, this fast-moving energy space that's lacking transparency and benchmark data. We're analysing different models from different players and trying to bring all that together to understand the holistic view of the energy space. Uh, repayment data, um, how to better allocate your distribution and marketing budget, how to involve the, um, the, the financiers. The startup aims to provide real time analytics from the field, like customer uptake, repayments, credit scores, and default rates. All garnered from customers paying with Kenya's mobile money transfer system, Impesa. Mobile money transfers not only allows millions of Africans living in rural areas to pay in instalments, but has also unlocked opportunities for highly specific and tailored market information. We can observe on this graph that a farmer north of Kenya has been collecting a lot of payments, inbound transactions, after the rainy season harvest and is in a much better position to repay back his loan on the solar home system. It's this sort of information that will allow startups, which often operate on limited capital, to better allocate resources and finances. In the US and Europe, sometimes it can be a little easier with social media, with you know, surveys, and you, know, you can just send it out online. Here, a lot of people don't have access to, you know, online methods. Um, so, you know, so currently we do, you know, we have like a warranty activation system through SMS um, and we get, you know, certain amounts of information, but th there's still always a need to, you know, gain more information. Ultimately providing more communities in Africa with access to electricity. Usually when you enter a market, right, you're not entering the whole market. You know, Kenya is a big landscape and if you're entering a certain community, Usually you enter one part of the community and then you expand to other parts of the community. This will help us identify which areas we should expand more into um, and try to reach as many end users as possible. Once up and running, it's hoped the reliable market information will give large-scale commercial banks the confidence to invest in the sector. The goal is to provide them with benchmark data so they can make the call and feel um, confident that the, the industry is mature enough that they can step in and take only part of the consumer financing and let um, solar energy providers focus on their core business, which is manufacturing, distribution, owning the customer relationship. Enabling solar companies to dramatically expand their reach and drive down prices for rural customers. And potentially providing a market model that can be replicated in other parts of the world and help achieve that goal of universal electricity access in 15 years. Andrew Thompson, CCTV.